This lure have a length of 70 mm with a maximum thickness of 10. The lead weight may vary according to what I need. If I'm planning to use the lure in more shallow water, I would go with a maximum 9 grams of lead. If I want to use the lure in deeper waters and perhaps some big currents, I would go up to 13 or even 14 grams of lead. I haven't tried to go heavier than this yet. <laughs> I have been using this lure in the past months, not as much as I wanted because I was fishing a lot of soft baits for the zander and I can say quite sure that uh, it's catching fish. And now let's get this guy as close as we can to its final shape. Yeah, that should be quite okay already. And now time for some sanding. And that should be just fine for this face. And now some eyelets. I have one lure, so I will just make three of them. And that should be just great. Now two more. Ok, here we are. Now I already have my lead here that uh, I'm pouring in this mold. I already said this in a previous video and I think that I will just go with 11 grams right now because I have 9, 10 and 11 grams and in this case I will just go with 11 grams considering that I want my lure to be quite heavy to be fished well in big currents. The lead should stay more or less in this position so I will just make a few guides here to know where to place it. And now it's time to prepare the lure for the weight. I just made three holes here with this uh, five millimeter drill and now I will just use this mill to make the socket for the for the weight. Almost almost done. And yeah, that's okay already. Now it's time to put some super glue and some microspheres. Just to be sure that this guy won't go nowhere, I will secure it with a few drops of super glue inside. And yeah, that should be already fine. Now I will just put on some microspheres. There are plenty of other different materials that can be used for this, but I just have this uh, at home, so I will go for this. When you put these microspheres and the super glue, the resulting material 
it almost feels like plastic and I didn't had any problems with this in the past. And now I will just leave this to dry for 10 minutes. Okay, and now it's time for some more sanding. This time I will just take the lure as close as I can to, to its final shape. And yeah, that's already starting to look like a lure. Now I will just have to drill the holes for the eyelets. One should be here, the other one I know that should be right here, while the third one it's obviously in its tail. I also want to drill my holes for the eye, so more or less no, I would just go here, this is the right one. <laughs> Before drilling the eye socket I just have to be extremely extremely careful because I only have less than a millimeter of material in this area so I want to be sure that I won't reach the lead. And that already looks okay to me. Now I will just have to move on with the eyelets. And yeah, that's all right. Now it's time for some sealing. Sometimes I go with a different sealer, but uh, right now, considering that I want to finish this lure today, I will just go with this super glue that uh, worked quite okay for me. Not quite okay, <laughs> worked perfect for me. I haven't got a single problem with any lure even after plenty of years of using and different fish. So for me the super glue is already perfect for sealing. And that's already fine for me. Now I will just leave to dry for 30 minutes or something like this and then I will go ahead with the final sanding. Okay, so now it's dry and it's time for the final sanding. And yeah, that's smooth. Now it's time for some painting. I want to paint this lure in some bright colors, so I will just start with white. And yeah, that looks quite nice for a base layer. Okay, now I just want something yellow on the side. I want this yellow to be visible, so I will just go with this uh, fluorescent yellow. I don't want a lot, but I really want this yellow to be visible. And that thing looks quite okay. Now I will just go with some Caribbean blue. I just want to make some dark blue back, so I use this only to blend the yellow color that you can see on the side with the blue back. Now I just want to add some contrast to the lure, so I will just put some of this pearl blue on the back. 
and yeah I think that should work now I want to make some scales so I will just use this wicked silver to make them and yeah that should be enough perhaps a little bit too much but it's okay like this now I will just make the other side yeah that's nice already I haven't carved any gills so I will just try to make some I made this stencil here and I will just give it a try starting with some black I will just try to be very very careful because I don't want to put too much black yeah that should work now I will just go on the other side yeah that's okay already okay now I just want to come here with a little bit of white and a little bit of grey and hopefully I will be able to make this a little bit better that thing it's looking quite okay I think that I will just get here with a little bit of blue on top because right now it's looking kind of kind of edgy <laughs> yeah definitely looks a little bit better like this I will just put some more blue on the top and uh, yeah I think that I'm quite happy with the result now I just want to put some white on the other side and yeah adding that yellow here definitely the lure looks much much better I think that I will just leave it like this and put some eyes on that looks quite nice I almost forgot before the eyes I would just add a drop of orange and I would say that that guy it's looking just great now I just have to stick some eyes on and then we will be ready for the top coat I have been using this epoxy resin for years so I will do it again for these lures I never had a surprise with this product so I can say that I'm more than happy with the results Oh, yes. 
Oh, this was really nice. And I'm kind of expecting to be a big asp. I just need to be careful how I'm going to pull this fish out because I have a lot of weeds in this area and that's a nice ass. come on just don't go there it's not very well hooked so yes oh yeah, yeah, yeah. this is nice and considering that it's almost daylight I just want to pull out this lure from here so I want damage the fish no I will just make a picture and then I will release I will handle the lure after that I'm quite sure that this guy over here it's the bigger one of them that was a nice hit and you just gave me a great fight are you ready buddy Thank you, thanks a lot. Yes. Oh. And this feels like a good fish. <laughs> that was much faster than I was expecting it. I will just use the net. To avoid any come on kind of surprises even though it's not a big fish so I'll just take it like this and release him as fast as I can so it looks like it was a good choice to start with this small lipless vibration Thanks, buddy. That was really nice. Thank you. Yes. Oh, that was a good hit. And I'm quite sure that this guy over here will be an ass. Quite a nice one, I think. I still don't know what to say about the size of the fish. Yeah, that's a nice ass. Because I'm not used yet with this new road, but that's a nice ass. Whew. That's good. Yeah, definitely. I will make a picture with this guy. This is a big guy. Whew. Okay, buddy. You just gave me a great fight. And obviously a great hit. Now it's time to put you back in. Are you ready? Thanks a lot. Yes, finally, and the road, it's working just great, and that guy feels like a good one, no, he got stuck in something, yeah, it's out, Whew. this wasn't easy. Yes. Come on here, buddy. That's a nice fish. I think that I will just make a quick photo with this guy. But 
before making any picture just to avoid any damage I will remove the lure from its mouth because it just doesn't come out like this chill chill buddy okay so this was the right lure time to put you back in this won't be the best release but yeah that's a nice ass thanks a lot yes Whoa. that was nice even though it's a very small asp I'm really really glad to have it no this is not even an asp this is a chub <laughs> this is nice <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about a chub in this area over here I just need my pliers because this guy is having one of my treble hooks Here we go. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, and that's a good asp. It looks like, again, the pink color, it's the right one. Oh, that's a nice asp. Come on here, buddy, it's not hooked very well and... Whoa! <laughs> yes! Oh, I will just make a quick picture. Yeah, that's already a good asp. Whew! That was nice. Oh, are you ready, buddy? Here we go. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yes, that was nice, and that was quite fast. <laughs> Not very sure about what to expect in this case. That's an asp. That's a nice surprise, it's still quite dark and that's a nice asp. Oh, nice, really, really nice. Whew. That's a big asp. I won't make any picture because it's really dark, but that's a good sized asp and again catching them with your own lures it's just great oh yeah that's a nice one Whew. are you ready buddy to get back in Thank you, <laughs> that was nice. 